Hi guys, welcome to episode 7 of our Access Control Explanatory Series. In this episode, we are going to go over the AC7 unsuccessful logon attempt. As always, please hit the subscribe button to help grow the channel and also do smash the like button and the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload new videos. Thank you and let's get started. Unsuccessful logon attempt. This is a principle of access control that checks for invalid credentials, password expiration, enabling the wrong authentication mode and checking malicious actors wanting to gain access to our systems. For the malicious actor, this basically means that they keep trying to get the system's password until they get it right. Most of the times, hackers use script for this. So therefore, limiting logon attempts allow us to track and limit the number of failed logon attempts on our systems. This is an example of what you see typically when this control is functioning. C says, your account has been logged due to three unsuccessful login attempts. Please contact your administrator. So when you exceed the number of allowed, you know, uh, credential, that's both password and username, you know, uh, entries, you get a locked account that you can wait you know for a set uh, amount of time or set period of time or you contact your uh, administrator for them to reset or unlock your account for you this is typically what you see now let's look at the control requirement in 853.5 for ac7 ac7 unsuccessful logon attempts the control a Enforce a limit of assignment organization defined number of consecutive invalid logon attempts by a user during a organization defined time period and automatically you select one of the following lock the account or node for an organization defined time period or lock the account or node until released by an administrator or delay next logon prompt per organization defined delay algorithm and then we also have notify system administrator or take other organization defined action you take other organization defined action when the maximum number of unsuccessful attempts is exceeded so these are you know uh, are options you can actually automatically lock a you know you know allow the user to wait say 15 10 minutes for the account to you know unlock itself or you can force the user to reach out to an administrator for them to unlock the account whatever the company policy is this is what this is saying you select one or even implement more you know sometimes you can either wait 15 minutes for your account to unlock or if you're in a rush you can contact the administrator right away and get your account to be unlocked all right so now let's look at the discussion the need to limit unsuccessful logon attempt and take subsequent action when the maximum number of attempts is exceeded applies regardless of whether the logon occurs via a local or network connection. Due to the potential for denial of service, automatic logouts initiated by system are usually temporary and automatically released after a predetermined organization defined time period. If a delay algorithm is selected, Organizations may employ different algorithms for different components of a system based on the capabilities of those components. Responses to unsuccessful logon attempts may be implemented at the operating system and the application levels. Organization defined action that may be taken when the number of allowed consecutive invalid logon attempts is exceeded include prompting the user to answer a secret question in addition to the username and password invoking a lockdown mode with limited user capabilities instead of full lockout, allowing users to only log on from a specified IP addresses, requiring a capture to prevent automated attacks, or applying user profiles such as location, time of the day, IP address, device, or MAC address. If automatic system lockout or execution of delay algorithm is not implemented in support of the availability objectives, organizations consider a combination of other actions to help prevent brute force attacks. In addition to the above, 
Organizations can prompt users to respond to a secret question before the number of allowed unsuccessful logon attempts is exceeded. Automatically, unlocking an account after a specified period of time is generally not permitted. However, exceptions may be required based on the operational mission or need. This is saying that even though it says that you know the user can wait 15 or you know, 20 minutes or even 10 minutes for the account to automatically unlock. It's saying that it's not generally allowed, but then again, if your mission call or the operational mission, you know, calls for that, you can implement that, you know, but it's something that, you know, it's not typically allowed. You know, if the account is locked, you have to reach out to an administrator or a help desk support analyst to unlock the account for you. AC7 has four control enhancements. Number one, number two, three, and four. All right, now, so let's look at the control requirements simplification. This control is to make sure that user accounts or accesses are locked after a predefined number of failed attempts to gain access to a system and stays locked until a set period of time or when an administrator unlock the account. What are some of the benefits of unsuccessful login attempts? These unsuccessful login attempts policy settings help prevent attackers from guessing the user's passwords by using try and error method, that is the brute force attack. All right, now, so let's look at the control assessment approach. To ensure that this control is in place and functioning as intended, that is the design and functional or the operational effectiveness, we do the following. You obtain and examine the access control policy and procedure, the dash one control. You obtain and examine the system security plan, that's the SSP, to read the implementation statement for this control. You request and test the screenshot of the configuration used to enforce the failed logon attempt. That is, you test all the parameters, how long the account is locked for, the process to unlock the locked account, and the account's reset period. If feasible, you test the system by using the test account that is going to be created for you by a system admin. You know, you test this by exceeding the allowed consecutive failed logon limit and see if the account logged or not. This is what we call the walkthrough. You actually go in there and see a demo. If that test account cannot be created, but you actually want to see, you can, you know, select somebody at random, you know, somebody who has access to the system for them to log in using the, uh, you know, are using a wrong password or a wrong username combination of the password, you know, log into the system, you know, three times or however many times the, the policy detects, you know, they log into that amount, you know, exceed that amount and see if the account is going to be locked. This is how you test it to make sure, you know, um, it works by having somebody with an already existing account, you know, do this testing in your presence. And then you can validate that this control is in place and is functioning or operating as intended. That's it for this episode. Our next episode will be on AC8 system use notification. If you like these control series, you can support me to create more of these videos by subscribing to the channel and also hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm to expose these videos to a lot of people. Thank you and I'll see you in our next episode.